Ready? Yep. Okay. Hello everyone, my name's Zama and this is Marty, one of the developers of Beam Team. Uh, okay, so tell us about your game. Cool, so this is Beam Team. Uh, we actually showed off Beam Team at PAX last year. Um, and we were approached by a company saying, hey, we love your game, it's super fun. How would you like to make it into an arcade cabinet? And we're just like, oh my god, like this would be amazing. So yeah, we basically spent the last year working with a company to make this a reality. Um, so Beam Team is a two-player cooperative game. You spin around different planets. The story behind it's a little, you don't really get the story that much in the arcade version, but it is on like the PC and Mac releases. Uh, your ambassadors from the cat planet uh, going out to meet other planets. Okay. Um, except your orders got mixed up in transmission, so instead of going out to meet the planets, you think you have to go and destroy all the planets. Um, and Na then, natural, yeah. And yeah. Then at the end of the game, you go back to the cat planet, and they're super annoyed, and they try to kill you, and that's the final boss of the game is your own home planet sort of thing. So. Interesting. Okay, um, so obviously, uh, is it multiplayer? Uh, like, what's the multiplayer situation? So obviously, the cabinet is just two-player, like local co-op. Yeah. Um, at this stage, uh, so we've got the games also live on itch.io. Uh, that's obviously like a local co-op version as well. Okay. Um, there may be other versions of the game coming out very, very soon. Uh, the best thing I can say for that is, if you like the game, uh, keep an eye on our Twitter account, uh, No More Studios, and we'll obviously keep everyone updated what's going on. Yep, uh, all links will be in the description below. Yep. Um, so, r proper release dates and everything, uh, what were they? Yeah, so like I said, Beam Team itself was launched at PAX last year, yep. so pretty much a year ago to the day almost. Yep. Um, and yeah, the arcade cabinet, uh, this is the first public reveal, um, so this has been out for about four hours now. So, this particular cabinet, this is number one off the production line, uh, so this cabinet is heading over to an arcade over in Perth. Um, but there will be other cabinets basically going literally all over the world. All right, look, look out for those. Uh, will you be at PAX next year? Absolutely. Yeah, so um, come to PAX next year and you can try it out if you don't know where it is. <laughs> um, uh, what was the hardest part of development? Hardest part was probably... So a lot of the controls are obviously very, very different to what we've worked with before. Yeah. Um, like we're, we're, we do a lot of mobile titles, we do a lot of like PC releases and stuff like that. Um, I like said, so when we got approached to do, hey, would you like to do an arcade cabinet? We're like, oh my God, that sounds super fun. And then that night we're like, how do you make an arcade cabinet? <laughs> um, but no, the company we work with is super awesome. They've been very supportive the whole way through. Yeah. Um, getting the game balanced for arcade, it's a little different to what we're used to doing in the past. Um, but yeah, it was really fun to do the whole process. Uh, so, what was your favourite part? Like, absolute favourite part? <laughs> favourite part, honestly. Um, so, we've had a developer kit in our office now for a couple of months. We haven't been able to show it publicly, but when people come in for meetings and stuff, they get to see it. They're like, oh my god, what's that? Um, but honestly, my favourite part of this whole process was probably yesterday we were setting up our booth for PAX and we got to actually fire it up for the first time. Uh, we haven't seen this cabinet before yesterday. Okay. Um, and we fired it up, it all lit up, it turned on, that was one of our concerns, <laughs> if it didn't turn on, we'd have a big gap on our booth. Um, but yeah, getting to see something you've spent months and months and I, I don't know how many hours working on, turn on and come to life for the first time, it's, it's an incredible feeling. Yeah, uh, well, well done. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the interview. No, no problem, thank you so much. Um, so again, all the links will be in the description below as always. Uh, and thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye.